our solar system contains the sun and everything that revolves around the sun. This includes all of the planets and their moons, the asteroid belt, and asteroids are large rocky objects that orbit the sun, and there's a ring of about 1.9 million of these asteroids that's found between the inner and outer planets that are revolving around the sun. And other objects like comets, which also revolve around the sun. All of these objects make up our solar system. The inner planets are all rocky planets that have crust of solid rock. They're called the inner planets because they're found between the sun and the asteroid belt. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, followed by Venus, Earth, and Mars. Notice that Earth is the third farthest planet from the sun. The outer planets are the planets that are found outside the asteroid belt. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are the four outer planets. The outer planets are also called gas giants. And that's because, as you can see, they're much larger than the inner planets, and they're also made of mostly gases and liquids. So it's important that you know the planets in order of their distance from the sun. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and Neptune is the eighth planet. It has the farthest distance from the sun. Now this may seem like it would be hard to remember, but there's a short sentence that we can use to help us remember the order of the planets. So this sentence will help us remember the order of the planets. My very educated mother just served us nachos. And notice that the first letter of each word in this sentence matches the name of the planet and they're in the correct order. Now in your class, you may use a sentence that's a little different. Maybe in your class you say, my very excellent mother just served us nuggets. And that's okay, use whatever sentence works best for you, but they all work the same way. You just remember that the first letter in each word matches the planets in order. Now you may have noticed that two of the words in our sentence both start with the letter M, and that's because Mercury and Mars both start with the letter M but there's a very easy way to remember that Mercury comes first. So the word my has an M and a Y, and so does Mercury. It has an M and a Y too. Mars doesn't have a Y. So no matter what sentence you use in your class, it probably starts with the word my, and there's a reason for that. It's to remember that Mercury comes first because it has an M and a Y, just like the word my. So here we have a sample question. It asks, what is the fourth planet from the sun? Now, whenever you're trying to answer a question about the order of the planets, all you have to do is say our sentence as you count along your fingers until you get to the number you're looking for. So my very educated mother. So the fourth planet is Mars. And that's how you would do it for any planet. Just say the sentence as you count along your fingers until you get to the number you're looking for. And that tells you what planet it is. It really is that simple. So I hope this video has helped you understand a little bit about our solar system and how to determine the order of the planets. Keep up the great work and I'll see you next time.